It's hard to imagine that a genius fashion designer like Mary would fall into such dire straits. <gasps> hmm. Open the door! Huh? You've been behind on your rent for too long. If you don't pay today, I'll start seizing your belongings! For Mary, this design was incredibly important. <laughs> even more so than her own life. So she had to protect it at all costs. Huh? huh? But unfortunately for her, the fabric cord snapped. <gasps> the last image Mary saw before everything went dark was a strange <gasps> door in the ground that sucked her in. The deafening noise of a lavish huh? party woke Mary up. Your Majesty, how much would you like to wager? Huh. Of course, with the Queen's style, it must be everything. When has she ever wagered less? Who are you people? Are you scammers? I'm broke. There's nothing you can steal from me. Huh? But no, everything huh? here was luxurious and magnificent. Something no scam could possibly afford to create. What? This isn't me. Ah! Your Majesty, it's time for you to return to the palace huh? for some rest. Tell me, who am I? Huh? Where is this place? You are Queen Mary Antoinette. This is France. Does that mean I'm about to be executed for spending lavishly and not understanding the suffering of the people? Ah. Uh. It took Mary, now Marie, half a day to calm down and analyze her situation. At first, Mary was determined to escape. But her plan failed immediately because the Queen Marie had come from huh? Austria for a political marriage. Huh? So all her actions were under strict scrutiny. I can't just sit here and wait to be defeated. A huh? smile spread across Mary's face as she realized that becoming Marie Antoinette also meant she had the resources to pursue huh? her burning passion, becoming a top fashion designer. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Huh. After countless days and nights of hard work, <laughs> a series of designs emerged, inspired by what Mary huh? remembered and adapted to fit the era. <laughs> <laughs> Done! This is Rococo, a tightly cinched waist and a wide flaring skirt. The lace and bow details add a touch of nobility to the aristocracy. And this is the hobble skirt. The skirt is tight below the knees, showcasing a unique blend of allure and grace. Finally, we have the bustle, a skirt with an eye-catching puff at the back, the perfect choice for special occasions. <laughs> <gasps> Mary herself promoted these dresses, wearing them to the most <laughs> extravagant bounds. <laughs> Quickly, the dresses became the hottest trend among the French aristocracy. <laughs> Orders huh? were poured in with enormous down payments. Mary counted them, <laughs> laughing even in her dreams. We can't let anyone find out. This money is too hard to come by. I need a pseudonym. What should it be? Aha! MR it is. <laughs> the fame of the mysterious designer MR spread far and wide, <laughs> and information about her became highly <laughs> sought after. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Mary almost got exposed <laughs> if not for the help of first, a mysterious man who claimed to be a Swedish count <laughs> on a diplomatic mission in France. Why are you helping me? Because I'm a businessman. I want to partner with you. Oh, talented queen. Mary had no choice but to agree. Furson provided the queen with a new secret location to continue her creative work. 
From now on, let's call it Petit Trianon. To maintain her power and avoid mm. suspicion due to her changed personality, Mary continued to spend lavishly. That's enough for today. Remember, all this money comes from my personal fund. Don't touch the people's taxes. Earning your own money, not using taxes, and sometimes even doing charity. What are you up to, Your Majesty? Huh. You wouldn't understand. I just want to live a little longer. It's not every day you get a chance to change the course of fashion history. Hmm. Ah, you're here just huh? in time. I need your help with something. What Mary needed was to leave the palace for a day to gather more inspiration and witness her accomplishments firsthand. Huh? No way! They're not wearing my designs? Her designs weren't embraced by the common people. Even when Mary tried to give away her creations to the starving, they paid no attention. Huh? I'm starving. What use do I have for this? For them, finding food was far more important than wearing beautiful clothes. <laughs> now that you're full, would you like to wear the clothes I brought? Still no, they're too elaborate and cumbersome. We common folk need practical clothing that's easy to move around in. This realization devastated Mary. From her previous life, she believed that creating a magnificent and expensive dress would make her beloved by all. Come on, if I win, the prize money could help so many people. So the most beautiful clothes are the ones that fit the people best. I understand now, ma'am. Please take this money to help with your living expenses. I promise to create clothing that the people will truly embrace. So when Mary returned to the palace, she poured her heart into designing with an entirely new mindset. The dresses need fewer layers, and the fabric should be lighter. Hmm. This part huh? could be replaced with a <laughs> slit for easier movement. In that case, we can also get rid of the uncomfortable corset. Huh? What do you think? Uh... Mm. I think that seems just right. Not only did new designs emerge, but they were also made and ready to wear at affordable prices so that even commoners could buy them. <laughs> At first, the aristocracy was annoyed by the encroachment on their status. But soon, many were won over by the practicality of the new clothing. <laughs> Following that, Mary successfully created simple winter clothing and gave it away for free to the people. Wow! It seems the fame of the mysterious designer has really spread. I couldn't have done this without you! You're very different from the Marie Antoinette of the past but I like who you are now the most. Your Majesty, there's trouble! Huh? For some unknown reason, the common people have started a revolution to overthrow the current king and queen. The one they chose to replace them is Louis's cousin Antonio, who earned their favor by creating clothing for the people. <laughs> He bribed Mary's close servant to steal her original designs. Well, so my brother enjoys playing dress up too. Mary was stunned, huh? unable to believe that the huh? companion she had trusted all this time was actually her husband, Louis the Sixteenth, whom Marie Antoinette had rarely had the chance to meet. Antonio not only stole her designs, but also framed the king and queen for the crimes he committed. Louis had tried to gather evidence of Antonio's treachery, but in the dark prison cell, there was little they could do. <gasps> Don't worry, I have a way to prove your identity. The hardest huh? part is smuggling in a few items. Mary <laughs> cleverly designed an outfit with hidden compartments that only the wearer could access. 
Thanks to this, their trusted allies were able to sneak in the necessary items to complete their plan. On the day of the execution, Mary and Louis confidently ascended the scaffold. Seeing the crowd gathered in large numbers, Mary knew the time had come. She tore off the outer layer of her dress, revealing a unique outfit underneath. Oh my god, look! It's a design by M.R. Could it be that the Queen is... At the same time, Louis presented the evidence proving that his cousin was a traitor who had been collecting taxes from the people. The king and queen were triumphantly escorted back to the Petit Trianon for the joyful crowd. Huh? But at that moment, the treacherous Antonio, along with his private army and reinforcements he had summoned from aboard, launched a surprise attack. Antonio, stop this! Are you betraying your country out of sheer ambition for power? Shut up! The strong are the ones who win. Relying on the people, they have no weapons left. But if you want to save them, I'll give you this one chance. He agreed <laughs> to spare the people if the king and queen would agree to burn themselves alive inside the palace. Louis, if we continue like this, we won't survive, and we'll be sacrificing the people's lives in vain. You must listen to me. Mary agreed to Antonio's proposal on the condition that they be given some time to take one last look at the palace. Louis, this is the only way we can change our fate. Mary's plan was for Louis to escape while she pretended to face the punishment alone. She used a decoy, a mannequin made to look like the king. When the flames rose, Mary placed the mannequin behind her. From below, it would appear as a silhouette. The people wept and bowed to their merciful king and queen. I have never committed a cruel act. Please, heaven, save us! Huh? Heaven did not forsake her, and the portal to another world truly appeared. Mary returned huh? to her rightful place in the 21st century. After King Louis XVI and Queen Mary Antoinette passed away, the French populace, under the leadership of a man named Fersen, overthrew the monarchy, ushering in a new era for France. So he really did it. It's the creditor. Huh? Open the door. Hurry up. What are you hesitating for? <gasps> you? Louis? I did as you asked. Now, you'll have to spend the rest of your life paying back the debt to me, Mary. <laughs> In a glamorous palace at Madara Kingdom, there lived a prince named Philip. He was well known for his bright and handsome appearance. The girls who met Philip were all enchanted by his charm. Oh, how handsome Prince Philip is! I wish I could be his wife! Druettis, the most wicked witch in the area, was not an exception. She continuously appeared by his side, sweet-talking and trying to lure the prince. If you agree to be my husband, I will grant you ultimate power that no one can match. Stay away from me. Don't waste your time. I have no feelings for you. After being rejected, the witch was extremely angry, but she couldn't harm the prince because she truly loved his handsome face. Near the palace, there lived a girl named Louise. She was the most beautiful girl in the village. Everyone had to be in awe of her beauty. Her husband was Adam, but he was chronically ill, which made Louise's life filled with worry and anxiety. She found all the possible ways to cure him, but Adam's illness got worse and worse. He was gradually weaker. In the most desperate moment, not knowing how to save Adam, the witch Druettis appeared and gave her a deal. I will cure your husband immediately, but in return, you must give me your beauty. How about that, beautiful girl? Although hesitant, huh? Louise reluctantly accepted this deal because it was the only way to save her husband now. I agree, I agree. Please help my husband, he won't be able to stand it much longer. The witch smiled cunningly and took Louise's beauty away, turning her into an ugly girl. Blemishes appeared on her face, which even made everyone horrified while looking at her. After obtaining Louise's exquisite beauty, the witch joyfully gave her a magical potion and then quickly left. Louise hurriedly gave the potion to her husband, and to her astonishment, he woke up completely healthy. Overwhelmed by emotion, Louise rushed to hug Adam. However, to her surprise, Adam irritatedly pushed her away. Who are you? 
I'm your wife, hmm? Louise? No, my wife can't huh? be as ugly as you are. Quickly go away. <laughs> Louise was astonished. She couldn't believe her ears. Go away immediately and never appear in front of me. Meanwhile, Jureta Switch, after having a new appearance, she immediately went to find the prince with the hope that she could be able to seduce him. Now I have this supreme beauty, will you marry me? Never. Give up that intention. Being constantly rejected by the prince, the witch was so angry that she lost control of her power, accidentally injuring her. Oh no, my handsome face. Luckily, he's still all right. The prince was so frightened, then he immediately ran away from the palace. Being exhausted, he fainted by a nearby stream. About Louise, after being chased away, she had to live temporarily in a cave near the stream. Looking at herself in the water, Louise became even more self-conscious. With this ugly face, how could Adam dare to come near me? Suddenly, from huh? a distance, she saw the handsome Prince Philip who was famous throughout the kingdom, drifting along the stream. Without hesitation, she rescued the prince and brought him to her place. She carefully took care of the prince there. Looking at the prince, she remembered her husband, Adam, and it made her heart ache even more. Surprisingly, the prince woke up, and Louise joyfully raised him up. Why am I here? I saw you drifting in that stream, so I brought you here. Thank you so much for saving me. You are truly a kind-hearted girl. Since his health hadn't fully recovered, huh? the prince had to stay in the cave with Louise until he recovered. After several days of being together, hmm? Philip felt that Louise was an incredibly kind girl, and he gradually hmm. had feelings for her. Getting to know Louise's story, he felt even more hmm. sympathetic and wanted to cover her. Hmm. Huh? Would you like to be by my side? We can be together and take care of each other for the rest of our lives. Louise huh? was surprised by the prince's feelings, <laughs> but she firmly hmm. rejected as her heart remained loyal to her husband, Adam. Thank you for your sincerity, but I can never betray my husband. Although he was very sad, the prince wanted the one he loved to be happy, so he thought of a way to help her. He took Louise back to the palace, had her dressed up, and had her hair and makeup done, making her look more beautiful than ever. Louise thanked the prince and hurriedly left the palace, went back to find Adam. Prince Philip watched her go, feeling sad, and silently wished her hmm. happiness. With her beautiful hmm? appearance, Louise met Adam and made him really surprised. <laughs> wow, Louise, my beautiful wife, you're back? I missed you so much. Suddenly, a heavy huh? rain fell, washing away the makeup on Louise's face. Adam was really shocked while seeing the blemishes on Louise's face reappear. He changed his expression and scornfully mocked Louise. Are you trying to deceive me? No, it's not what you think. But Adam refused to listen, continuously ridiculed her, and chased her away once again. She left with sorrow. Little did Louise know that Prince Philip had been following and observing everything. Seeing her suffer because of Adam, he was even more hurtful. Suddenly, a woman approached the prince. Well, it's a pity. If that girl had the rainbow flower from the top of Annapurna Mountain, she wouldn't have been rejected like that. What are you saying? Explain it clearly. Sir, on the faraway peak of Annapurna Mountain, there is a mysterious rainbow flower. Whoever possesses that flower will become incredibly beautiful. But that flower is not easily picked. Only those with high nobility can touch it. After knowing that, for the one he loved, Philip immediately set off. The way to Annapurna Peak was really challenging and dangerous. The prince had to pass through the hottest area, following by an icy and bone-chilling path. After reaching the treacherous peak of Annapurna Mountain, finally he found the rainbow flower. Having obtained the flower, the prince hurriedly returned to give it to Louise. Why are you here? As the prince placed the flower in Louise's hair, a radiant glow emitted from her body, and her beautiful face also returned. Louise quickly went back to find Adam without noticing the prince now had a blemish on his face, hmm. just like hers. Louise stood before Adam, looking breathtakingly beautiful. Strangely, Adam burst into laughter and turned into the wicked witch. <laughs> you are all fools! She stole the flower from Louise's hair and placed it in her own. She immediately became beautiful. Turned out, the power to steal the beauty of ordinary people only had a temporary effect on the witch. Only the rainbow flower could grant her eternal beauty. And the rainbow flower could only be picked by those with pure heart. 
So, she had planned to deceive the prince to take it for her. Adam, my husband, where is he? What have you done to him? Are you still thinking for that worthless man? All he wanted was your beautiful face. A little seduction and he easily fell into my trap, giving me his face. He probably won't dare to come back with that ugly face anymore. <laughs> you are so foolish to believe that he truly loved you. True love was right in front of you, but you couldn't see it. You and Philip are both foolish. At that moment, huh? Louise hurtfully realized it all. Because of her blind and loyal love with Adam, she hadn't been able to feel the love of Philip for her. Huh? Then, the Malice Witch used all of her hatred and magic power to finish Louise. Prince Philip rushed in from nowhere to cover her. What are you doing? Why protect someone who doesn't love you? I've done everything, but you always rejected me! A dangerous and cunning person like you will never deserve love. No matter how beautiful your face may become, huh? you're still a wicked person who huh? makes others feel dreadful. All right! Then you two can love each other in hell! <laughs> then she cast a spell to finish them. However, the rainbow flower was suddenly darkened. It turned out that the flower contained a magic that only worked on those of pure heart. For those with evil intentions, it had the opposite effect. Under the power of the flower, huh? the wicked witch completely vanished into dust, to the astonishment of Louise and Philip. Huh? <laughs> in the end, Louise was deeply moved by Philip's hmm. sincere love. Once again, hmm? Philip proposed to Louise, kneeling down huh? to ask for her hand. Huh? I'm no longer the handsome prince, but I still love you with all my heart. Will you be with me for the rest of our lives? Yes, I agree. Sorry and thank you for everything. <laughs> As night fell, when even the moon nodded off to sleep, a lone figure continued to dance on the street, creating a mesmerizing spectacle. Finally, the mission is accomplished! Ah! <laughs> is anyone there? Open the door for me! Hmm? <gasps> it's me! Help me get revenge on my ex-lover! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, with enough money, Haley could be hired to check the loyalty of the fiancé, or, at a higher level, seek revenge on those heartbreakers who prey on young hearts. <laughs> Dahlia, half-believing, half-skeptical. Come in and I'll show you. First is Cinderella. She's too shy to impress the prince. <laughs> I myself made her drop the shoe and left a lasting impression on him. Next is Rapunzel. Initially just trying with Flynn for fun, she unexpectedly ensnared him. <laughs> Finally, let's not forget how I helped Little Red Riding Hood get revenge on her ex-lover, Florian. He was Little Red Riding Hood's lover until the day he went into the woods to find her and discovered Snow White lying in a coffin more charming! Oh... Without hesitation, <laughs> Dahlia signed the contract. This time, <laughs> Haley's mission was related to Dahlia's lover. A warlock owning a majestic castle deep in the woods. Huh? Adam had three girlfriends. Haley infiltrated this group to captivate him. <laughs> When Adam loved her the most, she would break his heart and abruptly leave. 
Unfortunately, things were not as simple as they seemed. <laughs> Despite researching everything about Adam, <laughs> Haley's attempts seemed futile. <laughs> he showed no interest in her. Which contradicted Dahlia's descriptions. <laughs> Nevertheless, bound by the contract, Haley had to fight on. After disregarding all of the theoretical knowledge, she relied on her instincts. Finally, there were positive signals. Haley realized Adam was just putting up a facade to hide something. <laughs> I don't like flowers. They look so fake. But when he was alone, everything changed. Beautiful. Realizing this, Haley adjusted her approach to show genuine care for him. On stormy night, Haley rushed into the garden to shield the delicate roses. She found someone already there. After some effort, the flowers were saved. After that night, the remaining two girls were asked to leave the castle. The family celebrated Haley and Adam's wedding. It was Haley's final step in the plan, escaping before the wedding to break Adam's heart. However, mm. Haley hesitated continuously. I can't let the mission fail. My reputation built over the years will crumble. Huh? Huh? I have a gift for you. I hope you'll be happier. This is the thread that binds us. It will protect you until our love ends. <laughs> Haley realized she couldn't deceive Adam any longer. On the night before the wedding, she fled. Strangely, the path that was once treacherous and dreadful now seemed to pave the way, guarding each of her steps. Why did you come back? Don't you huh? feel anything for Adam? Yes. Haley was born into a family lacking love. That's why she didn't huh? believe in love. <sighs> That's also why the love service shop was established. <laughs> Everything ended. Despite having numerous precious jewels, <laughs> Haley's heart remained unsatisfied. <laughs> Haley's life seemed like it could return to normal, huh? until one morning. Open the door quickly. Prince Charming and I broke up, <laughs> because I'm not like the girl at the ball that he fancied. <laughs> <laughs> I misunderstood Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> Flynn wanted to help me feel less insecure because of this wig, so he sought you out. <laughs> Not over yet, many other girls came to complain. Some lucky ones passed the test. But when the truth was revealed, they were hurt, thinking their girlfriends didn't trust them. Relationships ended from then on. Haley realized the dark side of her job. She compensated the girls with all of her wealth. After that, she announced her permanent closure. Surprisingly, the necklace chain broke into pieces. Huh? Oh! Strange images flashed through Haley's mind. Without hesitation, Haley rushed into the forest. However, this time, the forest was covered with death. Not as easy to overcome as when she ran away. Ow! So Adam's necklace protected me. But 
that moment, creatures from small to large, whom Adam had helped in the past, appeared one by one. Huh? Legend has it that before becoming a warlock, Adam was just a spirit living in small roses. When Haley was a child, every time she felt sad, she would come here and pour out all her feelings. Thanks to Haley, Adam's years of cultivation became more vibrant. This allowed Adam to quickly become a warlock and have a virtual body. <laughs> He would truly become a god and have a permanent form when he received the love and a kiss of a human during the wedding. Otherwise, he would forever transform into a monster. Of course, this came from Adam's sincere feelings. He wanted to help Haley heal the wounds of the past. And there was no ex-lover or bride. Dahlia's appearance was just an excuse for Haley to get closer to Adam. But trust completely shattered the night Haley left. Adam still tried to protect Haley from the forest safely because that was her choice. Adam! Adam! Adam, answer me! Go. I don't deserve to be by your side anymore. No, no. <laughs> Without thinking, oh. Haley disregarded the sharp thorns to step forward. Strangely, when her blood drops, the thorns turned into fragrant roses. Adam, I'm sorry for leaving you alone. Adam, no matter who you become, I will always love you. <gasps> Thus, oh. true love could overcome huh? time constraints, surpass differences in identity, species, and heal wounds from the past. 